Hey guys, it's Dom from mobiledom.co.uk and today I've got a video for you called How to Windows Phone 7 Your Android. Right then, uh, let's get started. The first app I want to show you is called WP7 Lock, which you can get on the market for free, um, which as the name implies is a Windows Phone, Windows Phone 7 esque lock screen. Um, so it's like Windows Phone 7, slide up. Simple as. Um, on oh sorry you can see me in my horrible face in the camera um as you can probably can't see actually uh i've got the time and the date on, uh, on my lock screen um and also the image i took at the beach the other day so i just took it like a little bit of a peer thing um and you can change that to anything you want to obviously just slide up to go to your launcher uh that is free on the market, it's the light version. Uh, let's go sideways. Uh, see it, Windows Phone 7 Lock. Uh, now these are the settings. Sorry guys, sorry. Sorry. Now these are settings. So uh, enable Windows Phone 7 Lock. Obviously, pretty helpful. Full screen is only available in the full version, which I I might end up paying for because I do quite like it. Um, show time, show date, uh, time app. Data app to vibrate and long press, they are all features of the full version. Which, think about it, I probably should have bought before shooting this video. Let's see, icon theme, standard Windows Phone 7, you probably get more in the Pro. Uh, use system background, transparent background, background color, text color, counter text color, counter color. Wow. Um, they're all in the Pro version. Donate to us using PayPal. Contact us, so I, can, I think it's email, yeah. And then change log. So, pretty good. I mean, it's a nice app. It works. It's pretty lightweight. I mean, I'm running San Andreas Mod. Um, I think I'm running San Andreas Mod 7 Green or whatever it's called. And I've got the ability to deactivate my lock screen because before it was getting a bit finicky. It started to work, then it wasn't working. But um, no, no problems now. Um, Everything works probably as, as it should. Um, uh, the second app I wanted to show you to Windows Phone 7 your Android is called WP7 Phone. So if I scroll sideways, WP7 Phone. As as the name implies, it is the phone app for Windows Phone 7. So I've got all my. Um, I should probably let's do that. Let's do it quickly so you can't see them. Uh, it's got my recent call history. <laughs> I can put the dialer which is themed to look almost exactly like Windows Phone 7, which is brilliant. Um, go back, uh, let's get my call history. Down here, it's like three buttons. Uh, voicemail, dialer, and then contacts. And that this brings me on to the third one called WP7 Contacts. This one is so, so, so beta. It is unbelievable. It's like, it... Look, this is so cool. I can scroll sideways, like Facebook, all my contacts. That it doesn't even want to work sometimes. But yeah, it's it's so beta, it's unbelievable. Like scroll sideways, log into Facebook. Sorry, that's my BlackBerry. Yeah, log into Facebook, and what happens? Nothing. It it's so beta. So many things just don't work, and there's not even a, a settings menu. So you, if you just press menu. Nothing happens. I mean, if you if you try to add a contact here, it looks like Windows Phone 7. So you got their name, and you got the big icons, and it just all well, it's just really nice. And when it is finished, it'll be so good. And these are all labelled as beta product products. I should probably tell you this. Um, and last but not least, to fully Windows Phone 7 your Android device is an app by the uh, creator of Launcher Pro. His name is Federico Carnales. I'm probably butchering that name. Actually, let me see if I can say it in Spanish. Federico Carnales. Probably still butchered it. It's called Fede's Music App, which is a Windows Phone 7 music app. And this is actually so true to life. It is unbelievable. You've got scrolling sideways. So you got songs, playlists, genres, folders, artists, albums, and then back to songs. And you can shuffle all, scroll through all my music. 
It's got a nice little, um, it's called source alphabetically, and it's also got the same Windows Phone 7 thing. So if I tap this A here, it brings up the grid, and it, um, so you can, it colours in all the, um, tiles, which I have music from, or well, starting with that letter. So that's pretty cool. So I do not have any song starting with E, G, J, N, Q, V, X, or Z. Damn. It's not fair. Actually, I, yeah. It's, it's just me that can sort of see a bit of a face in this as well. Like the light, at, sort of the grey bits here. So like those are the eyes, that's the nose, and that's the mouth. No, probably just me. Um, sorry. Um, let's go down. Let's see if I can play a song that won't get me... Uh, done by copyright. Here's a song by my friend uh, called Heavyweight. I'll just turn it down. Now, if I. <coughs> sorry. If there was album artwork to this, it'd do a full. Actually, wait, so I've muted it anyway, it doesn't matter. So, like here, this is a song by Chris Brown. It's. Um, I'm not going to endorse it actually. But you can see I've got the uh, full screen picture in the background. If I had any album artwork, it'd, ta it'd show up here. I can tap it, I can um, repeat it. Or put it onto shuffle. Um, I've got the three Windows Phone 7 controls there. Let's move that back up. Yeah, so it's just a really nice. It's just so fast, it doesn't lag. Look. And if, you, if you're using um, a, a standard Android launcher, so um, like Launcher Pro, ADW Launcher, or like JB Launcher, uh, if you're using those, it also has a, a widget. So if I go back a bit, if I go to uh, Home Switcher, st go to Standard um, Gingerbread Launcher, if I scroll sideways, Mr. Carnalis in has included a widget which will take me straight there. This is pretty nice. And I should tell you guys that music out there is actually is only alpha. I think it's Alpha 5, and I've got stable products that don't perform as well as that, so wow. And last but not least, which you might have seen in my previous video, is Metro UI. There's a free version and a pro version. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with the details. Free version is, well, free, and the pro version is £1.82. Um, it's just so worth it, guys. It's so fast. It's so fluid like this. Here. Yeah. I, I'd advise anyone who wants to Windows Phone 7 their Android device to do this. Like, I... I would. Like, I, I do. As you can see, most of those apps there are my daily things. The lock screen, the launcher, the, the music player. They're all my daily things. The only things I don't use daily are the dialer and the contacts because they're both quite buggy. So, uh, let me summarise that. So... Windows Phone, uh, WP7 Lock, Fede's Music Player, or Fede's Music App, and Metro UI Pro, you can all get on the Android market for free, but WP7 Phone, WP7 Contact, and one called Z Player, are all private betas at the moment, which, so you can't get until the guy releases them to the public. Sorry guys. Uh, this has been done from mobiledom.co.uk. Hit me up on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash mobile underscore dom. Uh, you can catch me on the website, www.mobile-dom.co.uk. And also you can email me at domenico at mobile-dom.co.uk for um, consultations for which phone, should get, which phone should I get or what phone should I get my dad because uh, Father's Day is coming up. Anything like that, I'll be happy to answer for you. Um, yeah, so until next time, guys, this is Dom. Peace.